Hi, boys and girls. How are you? I thought about you as I opened my eyes today. I pray that you're doing well and that you're having a great time at home. All right. Are you ready for our third book? We've done one on shapes. We've done one on patterns. And today we're going to do on what is the same and what is different. So take a deep breath. Hmm. Put on your thinking caps. And here we go. Which one is different? This one, this one, this one, or this one? Here, let me show you what we'll be doing. These three are markers, but this one is a crayon. So you would say this one is different. It's different because it doesn't have a cap on it, and I'm sure you can figure something else out. It is the same, though, because it's round like the markers, and you can color with it like the markers. So some things are different from each other, but they might also be the same too. So we're going to have to think real hard. Are you ready? Here we go. Time to put your crayon away. Which box would you put it in? Would you put it in box number one, number two, or number three? Let me ask it this way. If you were to put it in the box that is the same as this one, would you put it in mm, box number two? You're right. But if you were to put it in a different box, different than what it is, you would choose either box number one or box number three, right? Yep. At school, we would put it in what? <laughs> box number two. Which penguin is different? If you said this one, you're right. It's smaller. It must be a baby. And besides that, it doesn't have its black coat. The only black it has is on its face. I think it gets its black coat when it gets older. Now, the same little penguin, if it was to play with some, uh, which group would it play with? Well, if it were to play with somebody like himself, he would play with, right, the other small penguins. But if he wanted to play with older penguins, he would choose these three over here, the adult penguins. I'm going to show you four leaves. One of them is different. It's different by color. That's my hint. Oh, you, uh, you got it probably even before I gave you the hint. The orange one is different. Now that orange leaf, which tree would it go on? Would the orange tree go on these trees, this tree, or this tree? Well, I think you were right. It would, it would go on the orange tree. Orange trees would go on orange trees and yellow leaves would go on yellow leaves. All right, this one is the hardest one. It took me a while to figure it out. So I want you to think real hard. Which fish is different? I looked for a while and they all had the same eyes. They had the same patterns. They had the same black on their, I couldn't see anything different. And then, well, I'm going to give you the hint. One of them is going in a different direction. <laughs> they were really trying to trick us. So if you said this one, you're right, because these fish are swimming that way, but this fish is going the other way, and that makes it different. Here are some socks. One of them, however, is different. Which one do you find here that is different? I'm going to give you a second. Oh, I heard somebody got it. It's the white ones. They're more, uh, they're like babies. They're like have the tops turned down. It's shaped probably the same as the tops were up, but it would still be smaller, wouldn't it? Well, you got it. So today you have homework. I want you to go around your home and I want you to find five things that are the same. They could be the same in size or color, shape. And then I want you to find five things that are different. Can you do that? Well, I hope to see you soon, but until we do, 
make good choices, love God, love each other. I love you. Until then.